Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to easily move your entire WordPress site over to a new host. Uh, this method is also good if you uh, need to move a WordPress site from uh, your local machine over to a permanent URL. Uh, when I say uh, entire site, I mean uh, everything, including uh, all content, uh, pictures, uh, comments, plugins, everything. The entire website. Okay, this is the website we're going to transfer from my old... Uh, uh, hosting company to a new one. I will divide this tutorial in uh, steps so it will be easier to understand the whole process. Okay then, let's get started. Okay, step number one, log in to the back end of your WordPress website. Uh, go to plugins and uh, add new. And look for duplicator plugin in uh, the plugin search bar. Here it is with 700,000 installs and updated two weeks ago and compatible with our version of uh, uh, WordPress. Click install give some time to install, then press activate plugin. And there it is. Okay, now for step number two, we're going to duplicator and uh, we are going to create an installer PHP file and the archive zip folder. So let's go to create new and make sure that everything is green here, like so. This is very important. Then uh, click next. And uh, the plugin is going to scan the entire site to find any problem. As you can see, I have a red warning uh, on my database. And that means I will have to repair and uh, eventually optimize my database. But it's not going to be an issue right now. So press build. As you can see, it's now building a package which will include the installer PHP and the archive. Okay, package completed. We have the installer and the archive. Once you click on the tabs, it will download them. Uh, just make sure once it's done, save, save them to the desktop so it's easier for you to find them when you need it. Okay, this is the archive. And this is the installer PHP. Now for step three, go to log into your cPanel of the new hosting and uh, go to add on domains, just as shown uh, here in the screenshot. Here we will create a new directory for the website we are about to transfer. This step is necessary only if your domain name is going to be an add-on domain and not a main domain of your account. If yours is going to be your account main domain, all the files will simply go uh, inside the public HTML folder. Also, you don't need to create an FTP account at this time, but that's totally up to you. When done, click Add Domain. At this point, we go back to cPanel, but this time we click on uh, MySQL databases, just as shown in the screenshot. This is step four, where we will create a new database for 
uh, our website that need to be transferred. Just remember to write down all the information. You will need it later. Start by giving a name to your new database right where you see create new database. Then click create database. Scroll down until you see add new user and uh, write down uh, the new username. Then uh, add a password and uh, click create user. Now scroll further down until you see add user to database, find the user from the drop down menu and uh, it's a database also from the drop down menu. Then click add. Once you are in this page, check all privileges and uh, click make changes. Now after creating the new database, we are ready for step 5. In step 5, we point the DNS to the new host. Be advised that this process can take up to 48 hours, even though it's very unusual. Just log in into the website that is holding your domain name and uh, look for Manage DNS. Then click and enter. Your screen might be a little different than the one uh, shown here. Here you will change the name, name servers with a new one. Just make sure you have them ready. Once everything is done, make sure you click save. If it doesn't show right away, like here, just refresh after a few seconds and uh, it, will, it will show up later. Just like so. And here it is. Okay, now since we are waiting for the DNS to point to the new hosting, we can go ahead with the step number six. Let's go back to cPanel and uh, click on uh, File Manager. Here we click on uh, Public HTML and uh, here we will find our add-on domain directory created earlier. At this point we will bring inside this folder the installer PHP and the archive uh, that we left on the desktop. In order to do so, we're going to click Upload on the top left side of the screen. Now click Select File, click on the Archive, and then Open. And it will start uploading the, the archive into the directory. The time it will take to upload it depends on the, on the file size. Now click select file again, installer PHP and open. This is a very small file so it should be very fast. Okay, now click the link at the bottom where it says go back. And now you have the archive and the installer PHP inside your uh, add-on domain directory. Now let's go back to our WordPress website and let's refresh the page to see if the DNS is already pointing to the new hosting. And yes, it is already pointing to the new hosting company. Right now there is no WordPress installed and what you see is uh, what's inside the domain name directory. And uh, here we are, our step number seven, installing WordPress. Without leaving this page, just type installer.php and press enter. This page will come up and all you have to do is fill out the form with the database information I told you to save earlier. 
leave a localhost for name enter the database name you chose for user just enter the user database you chose earlier uh, when making the database for password of course the password you chose uh, for the database you made and once you're done just click on a test connection make sure that host and database are green if everything looks good check the box at the bottom left and click run deployment click ok to confirm and uh, just wait for duplicator to finish processing the files and the database. It will take some time, so be patient. Okay, here you can see the old settings with the old path and the new settings with the new path. Just click run update at the bottom right. Okay, now if you don't see any error, you successfully transfer a new copy of your entire WordPress website to a new hosting server. But before you go, there are still a couple of small things you need to do. And uh, this brings us to our final step, number eight. In uh, this final step, we will save the permalinks and clear the security files. Therefore, Click on Save Permalinks. You will enter the same username and password you used before to enter uh, the back end of your WordPress site. This is the back end of uh, your WordPress site. Just click Save Changes. After you click Save Changes, go to the top of the page and click on uh, the link that says Take me to the cleanup page. Here, simply click on uh, Delete Reserved Files at the bottom of the page. And uh, we are done. That's all it is. Okay, now let's check the website. And it looks good. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And I hope this video was helpful.